than a sixth of the globe's people, the largest democracy in the world, with 54% of its billion plus population less than 25 years of age, dynamic people and corporations that can work with and compete against the best in the world. Dubbed the country Silicon Valley, Bangalore is home to global information technology giants and the biggest names in international business process outsourcing. The productivity and quality which you get from India, the skills you get in India, and very importantly, the scalability of the skills, the fact that you can get any area you want, any expertise you want, not just a dozen or two dozen, but you can get hundred or thousand people depending on what you do. So this talent at the scale we have at a good price is, I think, the value for money which attracts a lot of people here and which we've seen as success in terms of not just attracting people but those who are here growing and adding and growing year after year. Considered a bastion of traditional Indian culture and work ethic, Chennai, the capital city of the state of Tamil Nadu, has embraced the best that the world has to offer in a uniquely Indian way. From homegrown coffee chains to its larger than life films exported across the globe. Chennai has turned its obsession with quality, discipline and cost effectiveness into a fine art. Better crop prices for farmers are also a result of another activity yet to be fully exploited in India, food processing. Licensing has been abolished and 100% foreign equity participation allowed for almost all industries in this sector. Official estimates peg the business opportunity at nearly $70 billion and international food giants like Nestle and Pepsi are already here and growing. Mumbai, the city of dreams. Home to Bollywood, the Hindi film industry that produced 180 features in 2005. That's roughly one new film every second day. Mumbai is also India's financial capital, a city where several hundred billion dollars change hands every day. Home to the country's main stock market, the Bombay Stock Exchange. The Sensex, the bellwether index of the Bombay Stock Exchange, has been breaching record heights in recent times. The foreign investors will come into uh, a country because they believe in the economy of the country, they believe in the companies in which they're investing, and in the regulatory framework. And I think India is offering them all three right now. The advertising brochures call it God's own country. Visitors to Kerala often agree. Tourism accounts for revenues in excess of $200 million each year. The new comprehensive tourism policy of the Government of India is aimed at showcasing India's diversity in all its colours. The world's largest free market democracy is well into its second decade of continuing economic liberalisation. The results are visible everywhere. Don't, don't, don't. 
world has taken note. We welcome you. Come and see for yourself. This is the new India. India Unlimited.